What is up guys and welcome back to another raid Shadow Legends video with me the real deal. So I am a free to play end game player with two years and probably about eight months under my belt now. Um, and I'm going to be showing you a one key brutal team comp that I came up with. Um, you may not have the same champions as me but you may have similar champions so that can help people progress in brutal. Or you may be on hard and doing or normal. And, you know, you may be able to just see what I do to help you build your own team comps to help you get that one key on that pesky Hydra. So this is the team comp. It is a debuff team comp for the Hydra. Uh, we've got Cantra, Sissia, Husk, Nekmo, Elva and Shamal. So um, Cantra is absolutely amazing for this. Um, she goes in the lead and Shamal pairs up really nice with her. So he's going to keep uh, boosting her turn meter. Um, she's going to free using her A2 to throw out debuffs. Unfortunately, they are sort of RNG, but they are really strong debuffs, though. Um, she's got block debuffs, which is the most powerful debuff in the game. Um, so it stops the head of mischief stealing our debuffs, um, stops the head of poison, putting out all those poison clouds, reducing our damage significantly, um, stops the head of suffering, putting out ally protection, which um, reduces our damage as well, and also the head of wrath stops it putting an increased attack on itself. Um, and then there's decrease attack as well, which stops all the heads from doing damage to us, especially the head of Wrath, which is my least favorite head. Does that's usually the head that causes my team to wipe. Um, yeah, and then also because you've got sort of five debuffs or more on the head of cleansing, um, that means there's going to be a provoke on that the whole time, or well, not the whole time, but in general, most of the time she'll be landing that. And because Shamal's also boosting her turn meter as well, and um, that means that she will land that provoke on the head of mischief sorry the head of cleansing and if you don't then you know you just focus focus the head of fear and you'll cycle back around again and then she should hopefully land that uh, provoke so then we got shamal who is basically just in here to deal with the head of fear um but also just boosting our turn meter as well for cantra um he's also got a blood shield ring on him as well and loads of resistance so if um he you know he will be popping off all the time, getting loads of counterattacks in. And when he gets his counterattacks in, he gets a small ring. And then there's a good chance that the head of Mischief is going to target him and not be able to steal any buffs as well. Then we've got Nekmo, who is an absolute, you know, god, god tier champion for this. Um, and he could be replaced, replaced by any sort of speed champion like Michelle, Lady Kimmy, anyone like that. Um, but yeah, so basically he's going to throw out slow. So he's going to keep the heads really, really slow. And that's just great because it means we get more turns in. He's also boosting our turn meter, also putting speed buff on us as well. So we're going to be a super fast team comp. And the great thing about slow is that, you know, they're really slow. So they get less turns. But also when you kill a head, um, you want to try and save that slow debuff for that as well. So that means you get extra damage on those heads when the heads go down. And yeah, and he's just so good. And he also has that decrease attack as well for the head of wrath. Um, then we've got um, Sissia, who is probably my favourite HP burn champion that I have for Hydra. Um, she can really rack up some serious numbers. Um, but she will throw out HP burn and then she'll activate it and throw out decrease, um, uh, decrease defence and weaken as well. So she's doing so much damage for us and I've got a very unique build on her as well. So I will show you that later. Um, but yeah, top tier champion for this. And then Elva... One of my new favorite champions that I was very lucky to pull recently. Um, so she's single-handedly carrying the team with her heals. And her A1 basically just throws out continuous heal on the rest of the team. And that's how we're keeping everyone alive pretty much. Um, and then she also has a cleanse and block debuffs. And the, and also she does a revive on her A3. And all of her um, skills have a really low cooldown. I think they're all on three turns. Um, and she's in a pretty unique build as well. Basically, just wanted to be super fast, but also with her masteries as well. So she's got timing intervention. So when anyone dies, um, she will basically get a 20% um, chance. Well, no, she gets she, uh, tw um, her turn meter will boost by 20%. And that means she can, you know, cycle for her abilities really quickly and pick team members up as well. Um, and then we've got Husk, who um, just, just basically is just in there to do loads of damage. Um, I do have a bit of accuracy on him there as well. So if Cantra does fail her provoke, then he can step up with his A1 and he's got a double chance, a double hitter to land that um, provoke on the head of cleansing as well. So how this strategy works is all we're doing is we're focusing down the head of fear, 
hitting that head of fear and trying to take that down as quick as possible. As soon as that goes down, we're just going to be doing loads of damage. And yeah, that's all, that's, that is all the strategy is. We're just focusing down the head of fear. So which head to uh, focus once you've got the head of fear down? Um, that's always completely situational, but I'll sort of try and give you the best guidelines that I can. So usually um, what will happen is the head of fear will go down and then I will focus on whichever head has the lowest HP and try and take them down next. Um, for example, if the head of wrath comes up, that is my least favorite head. It does the most damage and has the biggest chance of causing your team to wipe, in my opinion. So when that head comes up, what you want to try and do is keep that decrease attack and uh, block debuffs on it. But what you do is you sort of want to take that down head first or try and kill it as fast as possible. But you attack it indirectly. So what you would do is you throw HP burn on it. Um, you do AOE damage to it, but you sort of don't want to touch it. So what I'll do is I'll switch targets. So I'll start focusing the head of cleansing. And then when um, the head of wrath gets those 15 stacks, because we're going to be hitting it with Shamal and also with just AOE damage or AOE attacks that we have are going to hit him anyway. When he gets those 15 stacks, he'll do a big smack to you and then he'll get a little icon of the Hydra pop up on him. That is the time to focus him. So what you do is we'll be focusing the head of cleansing and then when that Hydra icon comes up on the head of Wrath, that's your time to go in. That's when we're going to start, you know, just start smacking him as much as possible because he can't get any more stacks and he's not going to be able to do any damage till that comes off. And you just switch back and forth, back and forth. And you have to do that maybe three or four times. And then hopefully on the fourth time, you'll get it down and he'll drop. And then hopefully it just doesn't come back. You just If you see the head of Wrath, it's just that has got to be your priority. You've got to take that down as quickly as possible, but indirectly because you don't want to be taking too many hits from him because he does do a lot of damage. Uh, so the heads that I like to take down first is Fear. Fear will be my number one always after the head of Wrath, um, just because you can just do so much damage and it's really going to help uh, bump up your numbers. So you want to take down the head of uh, fear first. Next one I take out is the head of poison just because it's so weak and easy to take out. Um, it can be quite annoying head as well because if you don't have um, block debuffs over everyone because Cantra has that RNG element to her or, you know, um, she might be eating or something. So that can be frustrating. Um, otherwise, I like to take down uh, the head of cleansing or the head of mischief. Either one. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, and like I said, Head of Suffering, you want to try and keep that up. So that is pretty much it. Let's uh, have a look at the final results. So this wasn't my best run. Um, I still got 40 mil damage though, but Sissia got eaten on very early on, got really unlucky. Uh, I think the Head of Mischief came in, ate her. Then the Poison Cloud went up and I had two turns to release her. And I couldn't free her, so that was really annoying, but I decided to carry on anyway. Um, it does take about 30 uh, minutes to get your 30 mils in. Um, so it took me 40 minutes to get 40 mil. Um, but you can see like Sissy has still managed to pump in some really big numbers. I'm going to show you my best uh, key though, which was uh, almost 50 mil. So this was a really bad run, unfortunately. Sissy got eaten very, very early on. But we still managed to get that one key though. Um, so she still did 12 million damage as well. So two more than Husk. And she went down really early on. Got really unlucky. Uh, Head of Mischief came in, ate her. And then Head of Poison Cloud popped up. And I didn't have a chance to put that block debuff. Poison Cloud added, and she just got eaten. But still managed to get the one key, though. So you can still see, though, she still did 12 million damage, 2 million more than Husk. But Husk, Nekmo, they still did a lot of work for the team as well. And then even Shamul and Cantra helping as well. And Elva, like, I absolutely love this chick. Um, you know, doing loads of healing in the background. She did 4 mil of healing. Um, but I'm just going to show you my um, best run which was almost 50 mil. So this is the 48 mil key. Um, so it was 42 minutes and I did have to stop the run. Um, but yeah, you can see here like Sissia, 17 million damage by herself this time. So she can really put in the work um, and I could have done so much more of this team, but I did have to like sort of take a break. 42 minutes is a long time to play in the game and my brain just started to switch off. Anyway, let's check out the gear. Let's check out the masteries. So first up, we've got Sissia Flame Tongue. She is in Reflex and Speed. Uh, reflex is great on her because there's a chance to, um, you know, reduce the cooldowns on her abilities so she can cycle around quickly and do more damage. Um, stats, we want HP, Defense, Speed, and Accuracy. Um, skills, fully booked. 
Um, so all my champions, well, a lot of my champions, I put Brimstone on um, because I could only get one star blessing on them. Um, so ideally, you'd put something different on. I'd probably go for Crushing Rend and just have one champion with Brimstone on. But um, because they've only got one star blessing and there's like, I think it's, what is it? 20% chance of placing Smite. Um, that's why I've got a multiple champions because Smite just comes in clutch and it does so much work for us and it does a lot of damage. So she's got very unique masteries. Uh, defense tree is just about survival and uh, cycle revenge to increase our turn meter. Then it's all about accuracy and then anything that is going to help increase our turn meter. Um, so yeah, because she's thrown out loads of she's thrown out HP burn, uh, decrease defense and weaken. This is really going to help uh, improve and increase our turn meter. Uh, next up, we've got Necmo. Um, so speed and perception is great on him. I'm sure there's, you could probably go reflex as well, actually, or maybe relentless. So you can get more turn meter boosts as well, which would be quite cool. Um, but yeah, very, very sort of standard stuff. Stats, substats you're looking for are just speed, accuracy, um, HP and defense. So um, HP, defense, speed and accuracy and brimstone. And he only needs his A2 and A3 to be booked. And then Masteries, again, just Accuracy. Anything that is going to help increase his turn meter. Uh, Laura still is great as well. Lasting Gifts as well for his um, increased speed buff. And also um, Master Hexer for that slow. And then basically left-hand side is all about damage and just hugging it all the way down to War Master. Uh, Cantra. Um, pretty much essential for it to be in relentless but you could try a reflex as well or even just like more speed just to make her as fast as possible but for her um relentless is just going to help you cycle for abilities and get more chance of landing that um you know getting all those debuffs out didn't realize i need to increase her shield roll that up but um yeah hp defense um speed and then accuracy and then you can have some crit rate as well as a bonus but mainly those ones in the accuracy are more important you want it to be um fully mastered uh, sorry fully fully booked and then masteries um just all about accuracy and then damage and uh just life drink is quite useful to have on her just do a bit of healing as well elva love this chick um, so regen's great on her because she's the only one healing so she needs to stay alive um, and the reason I got protection set on is just because it um, I just got really good substat rolls and also if you look at the bonus you get a bit of extra resilience and HP as well um, so HP again defense speed and then resistance um, doesn't need her A1 book just A2 and A3 and these skills well really short cooldowns on them and you just want to cycle for abilities as quickly as possible and yeah again with masteries so support tree we want lots of healing anything that's going to help increase turn meter and basically um because she's not throwing out debuffs we take timely intervention so if anyone does die that's going to increase her turn meter by 20 percent and that's going to help her you know cycle for abilities and start picking the team back up again in the run that i had earlier today um, loads of, like I think three people died and she picked them all up by herself and when you go in that sort of survival mode what you want to do is you pick up uh, Shamul first um, and then basically your supportive champions and then pick up your nukas um, and then yeah and then it's all the way down to cycle revenge as well for that turn meter boost so I think next up should be either husk yep so there we go husk so uh, mine's not in the best set you could probably choose uh, savage over this or um like just triple immortal and um, sometimes yeah, well substats are more important than the gear set but if i could that's what i would be taking and yeah substats just he's quite stat hungry to be honest he needs hp i'd like him to have more defense and um, speed uh crit rate capped crit damage and then um, i decided to take loads of accuracy so he can step up with his uh, a1 to get that provoking uh, fully booked with crushing rend for extra damage and then very standard masteries for him so lots of defense with counter attacks uh, and then trying to do as much damage as we can 
and cycle violence as well. So chance to um, get out A2 to um, reduce the cooldown on that. And then life drinker just to, you know, keep our HP topped up. And then last but not least, Shamal, number three. Um, so he's in a guardian set with um, protection as well. Oh no, yeah, with, yeah, with protection as well. And actually, maybe I should change his boots out, but I'll have to do that. If, when I've got the gear, I have to do that. Um, but yeah, so basically he just needs to be nice and slowly um, and tanky, lots of HP, lots of defense. And lots of resistance as well. So total stats, 55k HP. Um, defense, would like that to be a bit higher. Um, like I said, really slow. And then lots of resistance. So that when he does uh, his counter attacks with that, he'll be getting that shield. And he'll be targeted by the Head of Mischief. Fully booked. And then Masteries. Um, yeah, just all about survivability in the defense tree. And then cycle, uh, sorry, retribution to get counter, even more counter attacks from him. Uh, and then just damage in the offense tree and all the way down to giant slayer. So that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.